everybody. It's your boy Talks Too Much with Third Party Studios. We have had a year of layoffs to we get to enjoy and laugh at. It's hilarious. The Echo came out to almost no appraise. And the uh, and ESPN is apparently super woke. And I don't think this surprises anybody, but I, I can't believe it's gotten mainstream, become mainstream enough of an issue that it actually kind of spread into pop culture. Because I don't know. There seems to have been kind of a soft wall between sports and pop culture stuff soft wall between you no your face <laughs> um but no before we get into all that let me just introduce we got the cody in the right corner what's up and we have the slim oh gosh, i have the sweatshirt on again he's wearing his uniform i did it yeah he's rooting for putin everyone's yeah. wearing <laughs> everyone's putin. wearing sweaters or hats and it's some combination cold. of those things um <laughs> we all have clothes on all <laughs> We're all wearing, Which is different. We're all usual. wearing the pantaloons. Wait, you wore pants today too? Nice. Yeah. You know what? I think out of all my out of all the clothes, I think pants are my second favorite. Really? Sweats are my first. Sweats are first favorite, then pantaloons. I have to go socks least favorite. Socks yeah, least favorite? I hate socks. Okay, so you have to walk around New York City with only one article of clothing. I'm choosing sweats, because even like good comfy sweats you can wear without even underroos. Just I don't even underoos. I'm gonna go straight up tennis shoes with no socks under it, <laughs> just that? so I don't yeah. get stabbed in the foot with a needle. Just right. tennis shoes. I'm yeah, with naked him. cowboying up out there, but yeah. naked ginger. I'm well, not gonna step in human feces and needles. Yeah. At least you're not gonna get shot at because everyone will be blinded by your. And it's legal skin. to be uh, naked in New York City. So. And illegal. No, it's legal. It, no, it's legal to be illegal. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah politics. Uh, I got yeah. it. <laughs> Slim, what about you? It's favorite, fun. Favorite article of clothing. I'm gonna go with. If you say your red sweatshirt, <sighs> my red sweatshirt. <laughs> sweatshirt. That's my favorite. It's it's not even your favorite. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Convince me. Let's. You'll be. It kind of reminds me of that hey, South Park episode that came me. out where Randy's an OnlyFans creator, and he's just throughout the entire episode, he's just got a shirt with no pants on. Yeah, it's hilarious. The entire episode. Oh yeah, that South Park episode was was pretty damn funny. Um. They've done a pretty South Park's done a pretty good job with their more recent specials. I wanted to rewatch the uh, the trilogy where they were talking Game of Thrones and the Council Wars. Council Wars. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Game. Of that Thrones, one gets like, insane. Oh, the dragons! They're coming. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we start backwards and work our way forwards this time with the Fantastic Four being delayed. We got a, like a big delay in the Fantastic Four, which was I didn't even know they had an. Uh, like a, a full cast. they announced a release date because yeah we don't even know the cast. Well, originally it was so you know, it, we you, got Pedro, Pedro good old Pascal. Pedro. Yep, yep. We I had, did hear that. When... And someone else announces Sue more very recently. I think that might have just dropped today that we have a Sue announcement. Is it um, Lizzo or something? Bitch, it might. Be. No, <laughs> no. Um, but the the Fantastic Four was I think if I read the article correctly the Fantastic Four was supposed to come out this year. Um, at the end of this year, so that was the pl- that was the plan. Which why does Marvel normally does a bunch of reshoots and stuff like that anyway? So it's not like that was like a locked in date. But the news of the delay is saying that they won't even begin shooting until Q three of this year, quarter three of this year. Yeah, I mean that seems to be the schedule that I've heard of because I never heard of a release date. Well, what do you? I mean, we've talked about the Fantastic Four as far as like. Uh, uh, like the different cast members and stuff like that. Honestly, I don't care because it's Disney Marvel. It's gonna suck. This, little, <laughs> this is this is it, guys. This is the one. This brings back all of the fans that Disney has lost. No, no, yeah, right. No, no. That and then everyone's gonna go back to Star Wars too when the Ray movie comes out. Oh, uh, we can ignore that, right? And the Mandalorian universe movie. That'll be interesting. Uh, it's not. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, I didn't say good. I said interesting. It'll be fun to watch fail, but... Um, yeah, everyone's kind of excited for the Ray movie just to see how bad it fucking is. Yeah. Yeah, just like they were so excited for the Marvels to see oh, how bad it is. Oh, it went... For some reason, it grossed over 200 mil, but then it went back down this week. Yeah. It's at, like, 199 mil. <laughs> Did they, like, get money that get they... Get refunds. Uh, <laughs> maybe oh, the Chinese, maybe the Chinese market's like, nah, we're not going to give you any money for that. <laughs> yeah, there's way too many black people in this movie for us to like it over here in China. You're going to have to take all of this out. You're like, a third of your cat... Like, a third of your lead needs to go. A third of your lead. <laughs> Just cut all of her scenes out. 
It's a they thirty. Rest. It's a thirty-minute movie. It still make just as much sense. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, Fantastic Four's not going anywhere. It's go- it, we know it's going to be the box office flop, but I mean, Pedro Pascal will probably do the Mandalorian movie. He'll do this. I think he's overrated. I mean, he's all right. It's just for some reason he's just casting everything now. Yeah, but I mean, like he's the new Rock. Gross. Well, fuck that guy too. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock movie ruining Johnson. Like, there, do you guys remember when all that stuff was coming about, about out about DC? Like, uh, The Rock breaks silence on Henry Cavill's exit from DC. The Rock talks about why these movies were, like, not good. I don't know. There's some sort of weird power struggle there where The Rock basically thought he was in charge of the DC going forward or something. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm. S- I think he's just so far up his own ass that he's just like. That guy ruins. My movie does good. I take over. That guy ruins franchises. That guy, I. I don't think he was any in any good franchises to begin with. I, I still dispute that even the fourth Fast and Furious movie was still fine. He's in five. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like oh, okay. five <laughs> comes and then it goes. Then I mean, he gets in there, I'm, and and I'm not saying we needed a fifth movie. I'm just saying. That I think Tokyo Drift was good for what it was and very fun. Very Tokyo sick. Drift is underrated. It is, yeah. Four was fine because it it kind of like continued along the storyline that we had with Dom and and Paul Family. Walker not crashing. <laughs> anyway, but five, I, 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 yeah. That franchise has made me hate Family. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of but memes, it's all you have. The amount of memes that have come out about Family <laughs> is kind of impressive. I, is that the most popular meme? I'm gonna start a start a new street racing franchise. It's just fuck family. <laughs> they only hurt you. And we only ride mopeds. We've seen that on uh, <laughs> we've seen that on uh, Pornhub. Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, it's not okay. It's not okay. You can start a whole franchise though, huh? Yeah, a whole franchise. That'd be cool. Uh, like, yeah, I'm not even gonna make one good movie. I'm gonna make ten bad movies at the same time. Starring Johnny Sins. Who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plays everything. <laughs> He's a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, a president. A I'm policy. glad that took me a second to register, but then I'm also mad that I know what you're talking about. I saw it, I saw it click in your brain. You're like, yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. I am. Oh, yeah. Johnny Sins. Editor, please don't put that in. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, Fantastic Four. The only thing that Marvel could do that would save Marvel for me would be, uh, you know, make Echo a big success. I think that'd be great. Yeah, you should watch it. I bet you would like it. I am sure I would. Uh, What's the premise even? So the premise of Echo So Echo was a deaf amputee mute chick That was Kingpin's One of Kingpin's goons or whatever In the Hawkeye show I believe Yep And Native American And Native American That's also a disability Yep Um, (laughs) (laughs) That's a handicap in and of itself I suppose I guess But they gave her her own show They put Daredevil and the Kingpin She's basically going against Kingpin now from so she just b- turns on him? I guess. Did I, you watch the Daredevil series on Netflix? I I did watch the Daredevil series on Netflix. I didn't I uh kind of s- I I ended pretty early cuz I know that once he crosses up with the Punisher, that's about where I kind of fell off. Um oh, I think that's good. like season 2, maybe yeah, season 3. Yeah, I've been like mid season 2. Yeah. So I I kind of fell off in season 2. Um what I did see with it, with regards to Echo is a fight scene that uh the uncut fight scene. Yeah, it's I think it was like yell- 7 minutes long. I think it was uh Jeez. I think it was Gothic Therapy posted the uh, yeah Gothic Therapy posted the the uncut uh, or the unedited fight scene. And <laughs> I commented in and I was like, could they at least play it back at times two speed or something? Like, it looks horrible. It's so bad. It's there's there's kicks that actually don't connect. <laughs> there's she they're just dancing around each other. It is so they fall weird. randomly. Yeah, they fall randomly. I wonder if she did her own stunt though, because then it's a little understandable. Well, it doesn't a, have all the movement that that's the most s- people do <laughs> it's <laughs> she's missing a leg <laughs> i mean as far i mean so uh, her superpower though apparently is that she can like talk to her ancestors avatar style and then uh, she like gets their powers or something after talking to them uh, they, so uh, she base so how she defeats kingpin is <laughs> uh like erases pain from his father kingpin cries end of show oh wow what a win he did it. I did a uh, the therapy session that saved the world. And apparently, there's a bunch <laughs> of like fat uh, ancestors, you know, because they had Burger King's 
around in <laughs> two, <laughs> 1200 uh, Burger America. King's leather jackets, casinos, and beer. Like It's a very <laughs> body positivity uh, Native American tribe. Wow, holy smokes. I mean, Good for them. no wonder they didn't get away. No. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, but apparently this show is supposed to be longer, and they just like cut whole episodes, and so it's edited really retardedly. Well, I'm hung up on that. F- I'm hung up on the fight scene, and I hope uh, I hope people check it check it out because it is very funny. It's very funny to see how bad this is. Uh, the Echo fight scene between Echo and Daredevil was oh, it was humiliatingly bad. It's so funny. Well, and they see. put it out there like, hey, check this out. This is going to be like the hallway scene and. Daredevil season one. It's like, well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's edited, I mean, almost all fight scenes in Hollywood are done well, kind of like that, but I mean. Either they're obviously edited or like mm. even in the hallway fight scene, they're. I don't know if they even hide cuts. They just use a different stuntman at a different point, but. Mm-hmm. Even well, like the long shot things, they hide cuts specific ways so you don't notice that it's been cut. Well, if you reference back to like a. Uh, Duel of Fates or like the Anakin Skywalker Obi Wan Kenobi fight. I mean, uh, I mean, even like m- even much older fight scenes. I'm uh, they, everything is done so much better. I, I don't know if it's like, did they in Hollywood? Did they create new safety standards or new? Uh, no, you're just you're you're not hired because of your merit. Right. Right. So yeah. If, if, it's like, yeah, you go back and look at, like, the prequels. Even, like, the OG trilogy has better fight scenes than the sequel stuff that Star Wars has done. Yeah. It's just horrible. Yeah. I mean, the... Well, Ian McGregor was in a, a interview one time, and he said they don't, like, someone asked that question, why do they, why does he think that? Because people have been saying that. And he's like, well, they don't put in as much training as we did. It's like him in... Um, he and Christensen did a ton of work together mm-hmm. to practice that. And he's like, we use real prop, you know, real props and like swung at each other in practice for a long time. He's like, they just don't do that now because they don't see the money in it. All right. Don't want to spend the time on it. Don't want to spend the time and money on it. Well, I mean, that's the thing that will make you money, though. Exactly. Or, I mean, the thing that makes a superhero character money, it's not necessarily the movie. It's the action figures, it's the merchandise, it's the posters, it's mm-hmm. all the extra shit that comes out of it. That's where, that's typically where you get the money from superhero characters. Like, Iron Man, Captain America, how many times, or the Hulk. Like, even when we were kids and these crappy Hulk movies were coming out, they still had the, like, Hulk gloves that you'd buy at Target or Walmart and you'd punch oh, the yeah. shit out of them. I always wanted a pair of those, but I was too poor for even that. <laughs> <laughs> Back in 03, you win that one. The first one came out. You, you're our diversity podcast host. You're you're the poor person. I'm the poor person. I'm the Kenny of the group. Kenny, <laughs> we don't make fun of you enough for being poor. It's pretty funny too. It's because I'm not poor. <laughs> I'm not poor. Five feet apart because I'm not poor. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the uh, yeah, that's I mean the Captain America shield, the Iron Man glove, the Hulk glove. I mean board games that are about it. All the merchandising is where you make the money around the heroes. But if you have characters who are boring as shit Mm -hmm. and kids never have don't have a single engaging hype cool moment to latch their little addictive dumb brains onto onto. yeah exactly (laughs) they're so stupid Uh, you remember do you remember reva from the kenobi show oh yeah no unfortunately yeah her lightsaber went up for sale for like a week and then they had to take it down because no one was buying it exactly (laughs) she's lame well, yeah. I mean, even Count Dooku, like even Count Dooku, like when the prequels He's are coming out, that's like one of the most requested uh, yeah, lightsabers because his lightsaber was at least cool. Mm-hmm. And I mean, everything else was just boring. <laughs> everything else was just a boring lightsaber that didn't feel really all that great. Like to hold, it kind of sucked. Um, had all these like protruding like compartments and stuff on your stupid lightsaber. Like you're yeah. taking on a trip. That's how it works. Yeah, but you, you gotta <laughs> hide your Mentos and seeds and. Oh, did you guys hear that? Uh, that um, Top Gun, Maverick is getting. There's gonna get another one. A third movie. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, this I one's not gonna do as well. I can tell you. No, 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 no. no, no. I don't I, think so. You put twenty. What was it? Like twenty, thirty years between the first two movies, like, something like that. It was like eight. Like it was almost 80s, right? forty. It was like thirty some years. Yeah, it was a, like. Okay. I was in the eighties. Okay, yeah. 
I was trying to remember like a ballpark of what it was. Yeah, it's, you're right. It's like, like mid to late yeah. late eighties, so it's like thirty years. Um, so you put that big of a gap in time, you take the entire market of theaters away from consumers and say, no, you can't go to movies. There's not going to be anything good for you out there. You have to social distance. So theaters had to like shut down rows of seating. Yeah. So if they put out a bunch of shit, we will get COVID again this year. Then yeah, it'll then, do good. Then it'll succeed. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I don't care if I have to. <laughs> That's how I'd make a billion dollars. <laughs> I don't care if who I have to. Uh, uh, I don't care who I have to fight, fuck, or steal from. But I am. I am watching <laughs> Dune. On. I'm watching In Dune March two when it comes out, and I will. I will do anything. I will do it all. But that movie, look, Dune two, looks like it's going to be so amazing. It's, I am. It looks like it's going to be like epic. It's going to be amazing. Like this is going to be like the big movie. Epic. The last big movie epic. we saw was Top Gun. Oh, you, we got Gladiator two coming out. Boo. What? <laughs> Boo! Why even try? Boo! You're I not... thought they would just cancel that, but now it's going forward. Well, is it still Ridley Scott again? Yep. That guy is like a glutton for punishment. Like, dude, yeah. Napoleon was a bust. I, I wished so badly for that to be better. Like for that to be a good movie. Yeah. And it's just an absolute freaking bust. It wasn't that good. I talked to a few people. Yeah, it's mid. <laughs> everyone who, everyone who watched it, everyone who watched it that I talked to about it. Said it was like going to class. Said it was like school. Yeah, for like a, sure. It was like a shitty documentary to watch. It was like terrible. And terrible. They, they all had terrible things to say about Joaquin Phoenix. And I was like, Joaquin Phoenix read the script he was set and played the character he was told to play as he was told to play. I don't think Joaquin Phoenix did a bad job in the role. I think the entire movie like structurally sucked. I guess part of the decision to make Napoleon more like whimsical and gay. He, I mean, he might be gay. Napoleon? Dude, it was a total Chad. What are you talking about? In yeah, the movie, I mean, he might be gay. You telling me that guy can't? <laughs> you telling me that guy just can't fuck dudes? Like he can? He could probably pull some dudes. I mean, yeah. if he wanted to. Well, that's not. If you really want to show your dominance? It's like prison, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like I am the king. No, I wear the crown. <laughs> I'm the manliest man. Well, um, yeah, Gladiator Two is gonna suck. Yeah. I, I wish that we could, I wish that we could say optimistically that that movie could even possibly be good. What was the last good Ridley Scott movie you saw? You and I debate about. Um, you and I debated about one of the more recent ones he came out with. Did he do Alien Covenant or was yep. that some? Yeah, he I, puts he put a movie. Uh, he put a movie on hold to make that one. I can't remember what movie it was. Also, did he do like a? No, he did like the older Robin Hood movie, which was good. Uh, I'd say 2008 with yeah. uh, Jeepers, that was a long time ago. With uh, what's his face? Yeah, Kurt Russ- uh, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. <laughs> uh, uh, another one where the director's cut is infinitely better. Oh, so much better. Yeah, it's a long movie, but it's worth it. I think that was the last good one. Because no, then it was Prometheus. I didn't like Prometheus. And then he chilled out and did Covenant. Yeah. Then he was a producer on Raised by Wolves, which I liked. I liked Covenant. I didn't. I didn't see Raised by Wolves. It was canceled. Yeah. No one else liked it. I guess. It was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see it. <laughs> it's two seasons and they dropped it. Um, I mean, the other big news this uh, last couple weeks have been that um, Steven Crowder, uh, with Louder with Crowder, the show, um, one of the most popular conservative voices on the internet and host of the Crowder Daily Show, is... He started a new campaign uh, called Clean Slate, and if you go to louderwithcrowder.com slash clean slate, you can look at his uh, instructions on what the, the movement does. It's basically just a purge your social media, like, um, and just, it's a clean slate. Just delete all your old posts, just move forward with a with So a it's not deleting start. your account, it's basically just deleting everything on that account. It's, it's um, so these settings, the settings that he puts in Clean Slate, does say that you just wipe your posts away so you start completely fresh with keeping your account um and wiping away all of the post history so honestly for me that's kind of cool i actually really like that Mm. but i mean for also on the same vein i would probably go even a step further and just get rid of my twitter uh instagram and facebook i don't have any of those yeah so as someone who is i mean i do there is a Uh, Facebook account for me, but it hasn't been used since 2012. I'm guessing you didn't even make it. No, I did. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. 
Back when social media was cool. Yeah. So if I sent you a friend request. Dude, I couldn't even log into it if I tried. It's okay. probably like 10 emails ago. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember uh, the? We were talking, I think, the other night when we were just hanging out about different social medias that were that existed when we were in high school. There was MyFace, and then there was Bebo. 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 <clears throat> the nice thing about the older social medias is that you could actually like. Uh, you can customize the fuck out of your page. You had so much customization. You could bring in oh, music. Yeah. You could I bring remember. In music videos and anything off of YouTube you wanted. Just port the whole video into Bebo. <laughs> And you just have a like a, your own playlist on Bebo of all these cool videos you want to share with people and on your own timeline. And you just messaged people and like invited them to come check out your stuff. It was actually kind of cool. What a time to be alive! <laughs> yeah, we had the best. So we had the best time. Like yeah. the best time. We got to be the we got to be the generation that tested all this shit and realized it was all crap. <laughs> yep. Your generations. Freaking stuck with it. Stuck so your on. generation's addicted to it. TikTok and Twatter and all that bullshit. Oh, the tag twats. <laughs> tag Twitters. Twatter. Sna- Snapchats and whatnot. What are you, twat or something? <laughs> I, I'm on X. <laughs> I'm on X. You. Listen, I love what Elon Musk is doing. I think X needed a, a revamp, and I think it obviously needed to stop being this wretched hive of scum and villainy. Right. But Well, you're talking about the layoffs or whatever. Someone asked him, it's like, so you laid off about 80% of the company, right? He's like, yeah. He's like, how does it still run? He's like, well, when you get rid of all the activists and whatnot, yeah. <laughs> it turns out you don't need very many people to run Twitter. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, a good, I mean, that's a good setup for this. I mean, you have a lot of companies that have uh, jobflation where, I mean, you have too many jobs in a company, and most of them are like, they just feed the next person down the assembly line. They're like, process this paperwork, put your stamp of approval on it. It's a big it adult daycare. It's all it is. Yeah. I, I, I love talking about the adult daycares. I think oh, those cool. videos yeah. piss me off so much where it's like, here's a day in the life of a Twitter employee. Slim, tell us about your the day in the life of Slim. Like, what is Slim's day? I get up, go to work, come yeah, home. But, but like, like gra- make it granular. Like... What time do you get up? <laughs> oh, why? Well, okay, I get up at five ten. Exactly five ten. It's yeah. very specific. It's well, it's, an regular. alarm is set. How am I supposed to get up at five ten if the alarm's on? Why wouldn't you just get up at five? Once it at six thirty and it hits news every five minutes for an hour <laughs> until seven <laughs> fifty. Because I like to sleep in. I don't want to get up at five. And then you go to work. <laughs> ten minutes is all the extra it's, I need. Yeah, it is. Yeah, can you imagine going? I couldn't imagine going to some of my uh, like younger family members and telling them you need to be up at five o'clock for your job. They would lose their goddamn mind. I'd work ten hours in the freezing cold. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah, I mean, at least you work. We got heat in our building now, so that's nice. That, that, that's nice. <laughs> oh yeah, you didn't have that in your old building or air conditioning in your old building. No, we had it. We just had floor heat. Now we put up a burner. But anyway. Is floor heat worth it? Yep. Nice. Especially when you lay on the floor to work on stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> nice and toasty down yeah, there. I'm just going to stay down here. Good luck with the you baby. You like fall asleep. <laughs> 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 yeah, my job, I get up late, go to work late. Late. Show up to work, pull up Yu-Gi-Oh! or Risk, <laughs> send a couple of quotes, make sure to answer all my emails so no one gets You basically suspicious. have a day in the life of a Twitter employee. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't do anything. <clears throat> then we got this yoga class at one. And at any given moment. <laughs> if I ever call you and I ask you if you do anything. No, I'm not doing anything. Go Aren't home. You at work? Go. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm doing anything. <laughs> Go home, take a four-hour lunch from 11 to 3. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to work. Send more emails. Make sure I'm the last one in the office. <laughs> Just so people. <laughs> so it looks like you've been working all day. I'm not going to lie. This last couple of weeks have actually been quite insane. Um, so I mean, hard. Yeah, I my my I work my brain, guys. My brain works hard. Yeah, you guys are just working. You gotta bodies. figure out which card to play next in your Oogio <laughs> tournament. Yeah, I I've been getting into Risk. Pot of Greed. <laughs> Let's me draw three cards. <laughs> three cards. I summon Pot of Greed <laughs> to draw three pot cards. Pot of Greed again. And I have to. <laughs> That's not how that card works. Yes, we know how the meme was. We know how the uh, meme. Such a good meme. What do you do? Do you want? What do you do with your microphone? It's so pot silly. of Greed. I'll, I'll, it's I'll the one that comes down from the ceiling. I'm gonna yeah. get a, I'm gonna get microphone stands that do that. That'll be cool. Yeah, I just want it coming down from the ceiling. <clears throat> if uh, 
yeah, so we all talked about it. I think in like one of our more our like past episodes. Like, if you could keep one, we talked about media. it in a future episode. Oh damn, dude! Yeah, damn. that's how that you shit works. Dang, Daniel. Sure, you're not a, su- a super scientist. No, I don't know. I don't think it matters. Super scientist. <laughs> I I mean, <clears throat> on, commenting on the Crowder clean slate thing, it's it's interesting coming from someone who has from him who's used social media so advantageously to advance his business. And I mean, if he's gonna wipe everything clean, which he said he was doing, and I think he has, I mean, that's amazing. But I mean, for me, it's one take it one step further. It's like get rid of all this unhealthy social media stuff. I mean, yeah, I've been saying that for what year is it now? Twelve years. <laughs> what day is it? Uh, <laughs> it yeah, Seventeen years. No. Um, I mean, YouTube is where I spend almost all of my time on. Yeah, and I don't here. consider that social media. <clears throat> no, I right. don't either. I, I mean, I don't. It's like an entertainment platform. Like, it's like TV. Yeah. If I spend this much time on TV, <laughs> that's at least I can carry this with me. But I mean, seriously, if any, if you guys see me spending eighty hours a month in front of the TV, you just need to like help me. That's it. I got like eighty hours a week in YouTube. <laughs> We're gonna check. I'm busy, you guys. Got to check out this eight hour long podcast about. <laughs> <laughs> we really should. Uh, we should post like a short of us like showing people how to like check out their mobile data usage on their phones to see what they're using. It's very easy. I know. That's like you could put into a short. You click it's on easy. your account and then scroll down and there it is. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> Spo- <laughs> oh shit. Now we can't put out the short. Yeah. We well, talk- it. That'll I mean, be our short right there. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk. We'll just cut it. The you I mean, so Google I think is probably the big one that like it if you wanted to see jobs get cut Google is probably the one that needs it the most because I think Alphabet is still not profitable. Like Google and YouTube are still not profitable. I know YouTube's not. I think Google's not profitable. And then I think Al- Alphabet is basically just an advertising company. So I'm pretty sure they make plenty. How of is money. Google not pro- or, uh, YouTube not profitable? YouTube hasn't been profitable for a long time. Um, it, I think it has because they get people to upload content on their platform for free, and then get money for advertisers to put on said videos. They only give them a percentage of it. What do they do that would incur a cost? Employees, uh, censorship, moderation. So, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about eighty percent of the company. <laughs> yeah. I, so yeah, I'm pretty sure YouTube is not profitable. Um, just hire one dude. <clears throat> yeah, just, just look over him. all the videos. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, we won't deep dive into we won't deep dive into whether or not I'm wrong. I don't think that's very productive. But <laughs> oh, uh, oh look at that, you're wrong. <clears throat> YouTube makes. Plenty. I think you were thinking about Netflix. Netflix wasn't profitable for the longest. Netflix time. Netflix wasn't profitable. Like I this think... or last year is the first like profit. Yeah, but I mean, uh, other no, I guess what, last year. Uh, Twitch is not profitable, um, and I think Discord has never been profitable either. So both of those companies have also been like just no, make no money. Yeah, but Discord doesn't charge anything. I don't think. Well, Discord sells like membership stuff, and they like they sell like different server like scalable options and all these oh. different like um, all these different emotes and badges and stuff you can get like the way you structure your Discord servers. Um, there. Are, there are things on Discord for which you could spend money, but <laughs> then they always then they always make sure that they like uh, sprinkle in a little bit of wokeness and a little bit of like a little bit of wokeness. <laughs> <laughs> in my mm-hmm. server, <laughs> that, <laughs> that was a pretty good one. You're silly, you silly guy. I know we keep you around. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, just keep feeding me. Feed me some more. Feed me some more. Um. But, I forgot to water my roommate this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason I brought up Google is obviously they are w- the largest one, and they could probably afford to lose the most without it actually being a serious detriment to their products and services. But last year, Google reported 12,000 employees. Um, That's only 6% of their workforce gone? Yeah. Google reported Holy that they had laid cows. off last year 12,000 employees which equals 6% of its workforce. And most of that came from like projects like the Google Vision, like the AI, like the uh, like Google AI assistance and engineering and hardware and, and stuff like that. 
Um, and this year they're reporting like another they're they're estimating that they're going to be laying off an additional thousand people. Which when you hold up twelve thousand to one thousand, it doesn't feel like a very big uh, big swift or it doesn't feel very big in relation to that. And in fact, that's actually what the unions are saying against Google, saying this is completely unnecessary. Why are you doing this? I mean, when you have what is what is six percent? What is twelve thousand six percent of? Quick math. Um, if you just you, had to do that, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I saw Taylor have a calculator on a on his I don't know, one hundred fifty thousand. It's yeah, it's a lot. It's two hundred thousand. Um, two hundred thousand. Yeah, that's fifty off. Yeah, you were close though. I didn't even calculate. I just guessed. Two hundred thousand employees. So like, an additional thousand employees to be laid off. Like, what is that even going to do? You're going to hire Nothing. back. I mean, out of the two hundred thousand employees, you're going to hire back six thousand people. I I mean, I, I, I Google laying off these people and cutting all of these extra in, like investments into the hardware related stuff that Google's doing, like the voice assistants, like hardware, like uh, the AI vision. Or like the Google goggles and stuff like that that they do. Um, Google goggles. I, I know Google goggles. Google goggles. I heard my nephew say that a little after he's born. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, Google and a lot of other companies have just been laying off people left and right, and this is kind of like the big story of like this episode. It's it's all of these companies who have gone super woke are all claiming that it's sc- it's a scale issue. So like, every- wasn't this kind of like uh? <clears throat> Was it the Pandaverse South Park episode where like uh, people didn't know how to do anything and so yeah. they had to hire a handyman? It's like once you're laid off from like Google, you have like no yeah. Where do you go? At all. Where do you go? You go to McDonald's? <laughs> like you're not even gonna get the seventeen dollar an hour maximum that they'll pay you at McDonald's. <laughs> it's like you're gonna get twelve bucks an hour. It's yeah, exactly. If if you get laid off from Google, you're not going anywhere, anywhere significant. I mean, Google, maybe you can go work for BlackRock, but, I mean, they are also – BlackRock also let a bunch of – Do you know how much too. the company's worth? I just looked it up the other day. I am curious. I, if I had to guess, I'm going to say it's a more than a trillion-dollar company. Yep. But I couldn't I couldn't even – when we're talking about that amount of money, how do you even guess? It's insane. It's $9.3 trillion. Jesus. And uh, they pretty what? much fund uh, like Disney and all those places. So it's like if you're thinking Disney's going to run out of money putting shit after shit up on screen, they got $9.3 trillion behind them. Wow. No wonder. I That's mean, in Vanguard also uh, <coughs> so, uh, backs Disney. I think what we need to do is take all of that money. It's like, you know how many billion dollar busts <clears throat> you need? <laughs> A lot. A lot. Jeez. You won't and, be able to make that many movies. And all of their employees were worked with Epstein? No. I don't, <laughs> I don't know that to be true. I'm just And then BlackRock only has ten employees. No. <laughs> <laughs> BlackRock has ten employees making trillion dollar deal apiece. That's fantastic. No, what we should do is we should as a government, just say, we should seize all of BlackRock Vanguard, all of their money, and just hand it over to South America and be like, fix yourselves. <laughs> and never come up here again. Well, it's funny if we even take all that money and put it into the national debt. We couldn't even. We could make it flinch. That's no, all we could do. It'd pay off like just under a fifth. Yeah. It's so, <laughs> especially after nice. We, especially after we tax ourselves when we're paying off our debt. Right. <laughs> Good tax our own debt payoff. Um. So yeah, Google laid off twelve thousand employees last year. An additional thousand uh, layoffs for more hardware related stuff. There are uh, other layoffs that have happened as well, and I think the one I'm most excited to talk about is Amazon, so let's just do that last. Mm -hmm. I want to do Pixar first, because Disney and Pixar, we just talked about them. Disney and Pixar are undergoing a bunch of layoffs, too. They're laying off 20%, or the estimates for how many people they're going to lay off is somewhere around 20% of their entire employee base. About 1,300 people. Uh. Their team is... Uh, From roughly 1,300 to 1,000, I yeah. see. Yeah, so Pixar's team is approximately 1,300 to 1,000 people, <clears throat> and so they're going to be laying off about 20%. That's going to be a few hundred people that are going to get just laid off. Now, when you're talking about 12,000, and then we go immediately down to the hundreds <laughs> again, uh, it's kind of an interesting shift. But when you look at the size of that team and to lose 20% of your workforce, that's, that's that says a lot. Pixar, even in the most recent years, their animation has really not suffered. Their animation has still stayed pretty good. It's their stories that suck. Well, how many movies do they put out a year? One? 
I think it's one. A couple. Maybe two. Maybe. How do you need 1,300 people working on them? One movie. Well, you probably have a marketing department. You you definitely only have, I mean, if that's your entire force. Storyboarders, writers, animators. Yeah. And I mean, you're They're probably working team. on a couple movies at the same time. Right, right yeah. And I would guess that um, Pixar probably like licenses out their studio to help other projects too. So like if uh, if you needed a, if you wanted to I need some animators if you need some animators hit up Pixar and be like hey how many slaves you got how many sla- I need workers <laughs> I need workers oh Mister how many slaves you have here uh-huh. how nice slaves you got here sir. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, studio athletes. I got athletes. this four hundred pounder who hasn't moved from his desk in three years. <laughs> we don't He'll even know night. if he's alive. He'll work day and night. His, Just his feed him cheese whiz and mellow yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did a spit take. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. No, Disney, uh, Disney, um, Disney and Pixar. <laughs> Every piece of bad news Jeez that whiz, Disney and mellow Pixar. Yellow. <laughs> the mellow yellow get you slip. It did. That's the one. It did. <laughs> mellow yellow jokes, everybody. Wait, mellow yellow. If you like to see Slim laugh, put mellow yellow in the comments. You'll get me. And while you're there, smash the like button if you liked it. Um, <laughs> any any time you can make Disney or Pixar or any of their subsidi- subsidiaries like flinch, I'm all for it. I love seeing Disney squirm. Love it. I love it. I mean, you've had uh, news going out most of Q4 where Bob Iger was looking – like, it was looking like Bob Iger was going to get ousted. And then he reports, like, the worst year ever, and it's still, like, he's just not gone. It took Elon Musk – do you remember when Elon Musk was talking about buying Twitter? It took, like, four months, and it was just done. He just had Twitter. He's, like, got all the keys. <laughs> he had he had found a bunch of moles who were leaking stuff because he did, like, the, the – It was like, how much you want for it? 16 bill? All right, I'll write you a check. And they're like, no, we want – yeah, yeah. It was well, wasn't it like forty four billion? I don't remember. I'm, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, like, yeah. I don't know. I think they no, negotiated yeah. down to forty one. Nego- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Forty one and a quarter. Yeah, you're gonna save three billion dollars <laughs> if you buy us out wholesale. <laughs> it's the little details that get you. Uh but Elon Musk seemed to acquire Twitter in like a very short window of time. And it seems like they just can't kick out the like Bob Iger, like you had a. Uh, well, who are you gonna put in there besides him anyway? Doesn't matter. It's like Kathleen Kennedy's contract with Lucasfilm is up in like three months or something like that. Yeah. It doesn't matter if she already knows it or someone else goes in. She's got a whole coven of witches backing her, so. Witches coven. <laughs> <laughs> Casting spells. They're all trying to put a chick in it and make her gay. Make it gay. Make her gay. I'm gonna make it gayer. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna out gay Kathleen. So, <laughs> do you think that the only way? Do you think Disney stays alive like in 20 years? Fast forward 20 years. No. Nope. Is there still a Disney the way we understand it today? Yeah, maybe. Yes. Well, the culture will shift by then. Hopefully. Yeah, we all hope. I hope it doesn't go further down the rabbit hole that we're currently in. Do you think there will be a new... I hope I'm not alive. Do you think there will be a new <laughs> competitor to Disney that... Yeah, there'll be competitors, definitely. I mean, yeah, I mean the indis- uh, the independent sphere that's bubbling up right now is getting pretty big. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree. There's the small the small creators are the ones who are kind of taking the reins. I mean, especially when you look at like what's going on. With and their the- projects don't cost as much, so their profit margins are a hell of a lot better than Disney's. Yeah, let's I spend mean, three hundred million dollars to make a movie. Yeah, I mean. The creator is the old, the creator and uh, sound of silence. Um, wait, it wasn't sound. Freedom. Of, sound of freedom. <laughs> the in sound the sound of, of silence. <laughs> I do in my best. Okay. <laughs> sound of freedom and the creator are two rem- two really amazing examples of low budget, huge. Results. Godzilla minus one. Godzilla oh, minus yeah, yep. one is maybe even the better example. Yep. We should go to that. This really week. recent. We should go to that this week. Let's go tomorrow. Okay. Slim. I'm probably busy. Slim's busy. Well, we'll go maybe before the Sunday Slacker stream. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Illegally download it somewhere. We're playing video games tomorrow. Yep. We'll figure it out. We'll squeeze it in somewhere. I got to watch football, too. Boo! Why? Oh, we should probably... Because it's the playoffs? Gross. There's like three weeks shit. left. I... Okay. Who gives... Uh, okay, fine. Tell us about football. I'm sad. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> no, it's something you're passionate about. I'm losing about. in all my yeah. fantasy tell leagues. About, tell us about football. It's... Tell us what's going it's on. It's a game where you throw a ball into a zone. Why is it called football? Because sometimes you kick it. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while, you kick it. Once in a while, one guy kicks it. Man, the invention of football must have been like a wild party. 
It's fun Must times. have been. People are just bored, probably kicking something around. They're like, we should make this a We game. should get our hands involved. <laughs> we should. You know what, guys? Feet are dumb. Feet is stupid. We got two appendages we're not using. Yeah, let's just use them. Let's mac- maximize. Why do they call it rugby? I don't see a single rug out there. Yeah, Or bees. Or bees. <laughs> they should right. introduce more bees. We need more bees. They just throw a nest that. on I the would, field. I would have really watched that. That is actually like, and it would be random. All of a sudden, a horn would every blow. Every player's got a rug. Bees. Just swat away the bees. You play football with a wild, with a wild boar on the on the field at any oh, given yeah. moment of time. That would be awesome. I would watch just it. a bull running around or something. What if each team actually had their mascots fight instead? <laughs> Ooh, like like in the, the bears old days. versus like the dolphins. Like in the olden days, just when throw two a dolphin armies... out on the field with a bear. See what happens. Like in the old days, when two armies would clash, <laughs> and instead of the armies fighting each other, they'd bring out their champions. Yeah. <laughs> and just yeah. settle the whole thing. <laughs> like, yeah. The Vikings versus the Bobcats. <laughs> There's like a Viking out there. He's got a big old axe. No, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. They're just mascots. In their mascot costumes. Oh, I just geez. want to see them kicking the shit out of each other. Like UFC style. Yeah, there we go. Ghost I straight. want the real thing. I want you a real Viking against a real Bobcat. Yeah, that way you can be like the Chargers versus the Raiders, and then it's just this like dude that gets struck by lightning or something. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, Did he live? <laughs> Did he live? If like, he lives, he wins. I feel like Patriots just win. Because they all have guns. Yep. Oh, the but he would have a musket. If you didn't hit him the first time, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do a home invasion with a musket. See how it goes. We don't have to hit. We don't. <laughs> with a I, I. We're going. We're going old school. I plead. I plead the fifth on this one. You're holding up a family of nine. <laughs> one single, a single shot. shot. <laughs> one of you is gonna be very gone. Hey man, if I start s- swinging this thing, it hurts. It's a big old <laughs> stick. Yeah. <laughs> Go, go hold up like a whole fraternity or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is our robbery. Was that going to fire one non-lethal projectile? You get your boys together and just have a whole like little unit. Yeah, Do volley, line. volleys. You go, st- <laughs> you go stand on the side of Main Street. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> straight, straight line right into the side of a Mustang. All right, give us 30 seconds to reload. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on hold the on. Edge of, like a protest or something. Like, like that. I don't know. Um, we don't have to touch on the Pat McAfee debacle, but maybe, maybe can you guys just break down a little bit? But it's also kind of funny. The, yeah, run. Why don't you run with this one a little bit, Slim? Because I got nothing on this one. I, I've heard about Pat McAfee. It, so, one of the, Pat McAfee had a podcast, had a show that was successful. ESPN brought him on. Yep. Pat McAfee. Uh, accuses like the executives of setting up his show for failure. He had on guests that people aren't liking, and there's a bunch of co- controversy surrounding his show. I mean, po- so podcast meets mainstream entertainment. Well, he said he wasn't. Of- he was never going to go on ESPN to begin with, and then they so he's a liar. Off- they offered him a shitload of money, and okay. so he did. So okay. people are pissed about that, thinking the show would uh, like go down. Yeah. And just kind of suck now that it's being supervised by ESPN. But nothing really has changed. He can still pretty much do whatever the fuck he wants. Interesting. Uh, that I know, anyway. Yeah. S- Slim, do you have... What can you add to this that'll help me like understand as a non-football guy? Well, he just kind of... Like, you covered a, like, a really good chunk of it. Like He, he did his own thing, and then ESPN kind of bought him. And then like he started like on one of his live shows, or close to it, like start just shitting on everyone at ESPN because they're setting them up for failure and, like, they're dumping his ratings or doing this and this to him. Was this He's after, like, uh, after, uh, fuck, what's it? Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers. It was right out. before it. Oh, It was before Jimmy it, Kimmel. and then, like, a couple weeks later, I don't know the exact time frame, Aaron Rodgers comes on and starts slamming Jimmy Kimmel <laughs> on his show. Jimmy Kimmel from the night show the host. Night show? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Instead of how Epstein he list. and so was Jimmy the Kimmel's. Epstein list was gonna come out and he'd be on it because he's a creep and a weirdo. Mm. And then Kimmel comes out like a week later at his show and says, "Hey, if you don't no, smear you my name, no. <laughs> yeah. if you smear my name, I'll see you in court because that's you know can't really do that. You can't just say that if it's gonna you know 
Right. Tartar someone's name, you can't do that. I don't know, guys. I think Slim is on Epstein's list, and I think he's That's... trying to de- uh, distract him. <sighs> it's Slim's a, a, lot it's more a code famous name. You'll never know. find Slim, it. Slim has a loyal fan base. Like People are like, where's Slim? We uh, need more Slim. Where's our, li- where's our speed run live streams? Really? I we didn't got, hear Slim's anything got more about fans it. Than I do. That's good. Well... <laughs> I'd hope so. I got one, and you got zero, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The dwarf amongst midgets. And I'm just the asshole in the background. <laughs> the dwarf amongst midgets. Um, so, yeah, and then now Rogers isn't allowed on his show anymore because he was saying all Oh, this really? Stuff. Like, yeah. he's... He can't go on anymore. Hold on, hold on. Who? So, Pat McAfee is not letting him on? Or ESPN. Or ESPN I'm not on? 100% sure, but I think it's ESPN. I would assume it's okay. ESPN. So ESPN is like... You can't come one, on. One of the most famous athletes ever to have walked the earth yeah. is not allowed on the sports network. He's yeah, because they don't want him making controversial statements because they don't know what he's going to say. Because Aaron Rodgers is kind of unhinged with that. He'll just say whatever. I, I like the conspiracy uh, rabbit hole that he's going down. Me too. <laughs> it's fun. I don't even know what it is. It just sounds like it's a fun ride. I, Aaron Rodgers, he was injured this season. I mean, was he going to return? I thought he was going to re- Yeah. He had – well, he's not going to return this season. He'll be okay. back next season. He had a ACL tear. Yeah, that's okay. kind of funny. It's a season-ending injury always. So. Everyone's like, the Jets could just dominate this year. In the they would have with him. First game out, Aaron Rodgers gets he didn't even He didn't even complete a pass. He had zero yards. Nice. Because it was this, the That's third. That's got to be some sort of achievement. It's the third yeah. play. He dropped back and he injured himself. Oh, nice. I think the only, like, the only two big sports moments that I really know about or recall are the miracle in Minneapolis and the uh, and when Adrian Peterson uh, maxed out the receiving touchdown, the receiving yards touchdown. So, like, he got 99-yard reception return on a, uh, on a, on a kick. Oh, yeah. I think you made a bunch of stuff up there. <laughs> what the miracle? AP is a AP is a running AP's back. AP is a bro. running back. Yeah, didn't he get? Hold on, I gotta look this up then. I don't care. I don't <laughs> either. I don't either. But I'm not. You guys, no. Adrian Peterson got a record for the Vikings. I remember him a beating his kids or something. Getting a bunch of <laughs> getting did. maximum yards or something like that on it. I someone fact check me on this. That isn't in hey. this studio right now. But I think, but the Just miracle of Minneapolis. Words, was real. Words. Yeah, I watched that game. That was, I watched that game too. I was, I mean, that I was before I just totally zoned out on football. I was working at so the night that happened, I was working at Best Buy, and it was on every TV in the entire building and in the break room, and you heard the entire freaking store erupt. All the customers who saw the TV, everyone in the break room was yelling. Everyone in the entire store That's kind erupted of a cool at moment. that moment. That's a cool moment. <clears throat> yeah, it was so cool. It's That's a unifying cool. moment. I used that moment to sell so many TVs that year. Because <laughs> all I did was I just pulled it up on YouTube, had it up on the TV, and be like, imagine what would it would look like if this was in your house. <laughs> and like this was your sound system. Yeah, I sold the shit out of that yeah, moment. Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much. The only good thing the Vikings have ever done. Thank you, Diggs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have... Okay, so that pretty much clears up that story then. I mean, so where are we at with uh, that the Pat McAfee show now? It, it's still running. Just, yeah, it's still going. It's just it's chilled out now from what I know. I haven't if, heard anything else about it. If we got an offer to be on a mainstream platform, Ugh. would we just say no? Like us. I would. you just say, yeah. I mean, I'm I'd worried. go on Peacock. <sighs> I'm where Cody is on this. I'm, I mean... The Pat McAfee going on ESPN, I mean... Read I don't... Shadow Legends. Yeah. Was... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no sponsors. We sponsor ourselves. Mm. Except Raid Challenge. And NordVPN. <laughs> <laughs> we just do it because we like the company so much. They don't even pay us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we just want to go on... We'd be a new Disney show. They'd hate us so much. No, I, just... I have a big problem with people telling me what I can and cannot say, so... Well, you're not allowed to tell people that. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you can't tell people your big issues. But um, I think that when you have small creators creating successful podcasts, creating successful shows, and then they just allow themselves to get eaten up by, by big companies. I, do it for the Benjamins, baby. Well, you, you're you letting go of the opportunity to become even more successful. Like the the Pat, Pat show. It depends uh, on the pay. Well, it well, yeah, true. <laughs> but I mean, there's ESPN is kind of 
it's been going down, right? Its ratings have been going down, and it's... yeah, because they're yeah, they're pretty woke. So they're people woke. Stop watching they're them. wrong. They keep picking fights. There's like, a whole bunch of pick... people and shows on YouTube that you can watch to get your sports info info yeah. from. I, I that's kind of where I'm at with it too. I'm like, if you can... even Geeks and Gamers has a sports channel. The two now. Manning brothers do thing now, and they like watch the game and comment on it, and that's getting huge. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. So ESPN, I mean, will be irrelevant. I think ESPN will be irrelevant in 30 years. Eh, probably. Years, 10 years. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, uh, to me, it's irrelevant now because I'm just not – I mean, they don't cover esports, so I don't think they're really sports. So. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah. I want ESPN 8 the Ocho back. I want to see dodgeball and all sorts of other things. Uh <laughs> Ocho. There's three other companies we were going to touch on for uh, the layoffs. I just wanted to talk about Amazon real quick. Amazon laying off several hundred workers uh, in the midst of, you know, the Rings of Power debacle. I mean, it. What? What's so bad about Rings of Power? The Rings of Power was a flop. Was a flop. Ten out of and ten. It cost, and it cost like a billion dollars. So the fact, so, yeah, Rings of Power costs a billion dollars. They're got, they're confirmed a second season. It's coming soon. It's, it's coming. coming this year. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. So is House yeah. of the Dragon. I will be watching House of the Dragon. I hope House of the Dragon un- releases right on top of Rings of Power like Again? last time. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah, Rings of Power. I watched I watched some of Rings of Power. It was just a nightmare. I fucking hated it. I hate Rings of Power. I love Tolkien's universe, and everything about that show felt just tortured, just horrible. Seems rather procedural too, just the way it looks and how it like feels. It yeah. just seems like every other show or movie that's come out. Yeah, there's no special, nothing special about like, it. The Peter Jackson trilogy feels more grounded and more real, and even though it's a fantasy world, it's not meant to feel like mystical and fantastic. It's all of the magic in the in the Third Age is pretty much gone. I mean, it's really just old powers that are still around. But otherwise, you have, like, when you watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy and you see, like, Rohan, like, that's most of what the world in, in Tolkien's universe is supposed to be like in the Third Age in Gondor. There's not supposed to be any magic you come across is, like, ancient and old and hasn't really been relevant ancient. since the Second Age. So You haven't fa- been relevant since Second Age. Oh. oh. And that's where we should cut it. Stick that I'm in your pipe and that, smoke I'm it. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to forgive you for well, that you're one. Gonna, that one's not okay. Could you do something about it? I mean, bitch, I might be. <laughs> I, but I'm, I'm a rise above what just happened, and we're going to move past it together because I, I like our friendship. Um, <laughs> I'm starting to question it. <laughs> it's not great. It's probably smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, the entire Lord of the Rings ethos just – is completely busted by these projects where you have Rings of Power and the Second Age and everything's really lame and gay. They, they do have in. War of the Rohirrim coming out that this year could, too. That could be good. A lot of the Tolkien uh, Tolkien tubers, like the guys who like break down like Tolkien uh, lore and ethos, they are giving that some shout outs and praises. A big problem is that they were also the same shills that shouted out Rings of Power. They went to London and, yeah, and got anything Lord of the Rings. They'll just clamp onto and suck its dick. One of my favorite uh, Lord nice. of the Rings YouTubers. Nice. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite Lord of the Rings YouTubers, uh, Nerd of the Rings. He was my favorite guy. He broke down things so well. He had great videos. Everything was awesome. He goes to London, starts shilling, and he is unapologetic about it. He just refuses to admit that he was wrong. And every time he's on a live stream with any of my other creators, everyone is just ripping him apart <laughs> to the point where, like, all these other creators are all friends with each other. Even the ones who aren't, sh- who aren't shills, who didn't, like, sell out for it, they all just said, like, it's old info. It, back off. It's done. We're not dealing with it on this stream. And <laughs> so I, he goes in there and chats roasting him. No, they, they, uh, so return to Moria. Or the, <laughs> That'd the, be funny. The, what was the, like, I think it was return to Moria. Yeah. Was the that, dwarf game. Yeah. The dwarf game. Dwarf like, survival game. Four really big, uh, Tolkien YouTubers, uh, got together to play that game together. And he was one of them. And the chat was just like, remember when you shield for rings of power? <laughs> <laughs> it's like just bashing him. It was awesome. I love it. I mean, Listen, if you're not going to apologize when you're that wrong about something, like I am wrong about a billion things, and I'll never apologize, but I accept <laughs> that I will get hate in the comments for it, and I'm not going to be like, and I'm not going to, 
I, I only I have one rule, and it's I only apologize when I actually am sorry. I won't apologize if I'm not sorry. But he actually has a lot to be sorry for because he was more wrong than I am ever. <laughs> I've never been as wrong as he is. You're I've gonna, never shield for rings of power. So I mean, I I win. <laughs> you're gonna make a girl real happy one day. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna I'm apologize. never gonna apologize. Only if I'm sorry, and then she'll know I'm sincere about it. Fuck you, babe. Uh, I'm right. Fuck you, babe. It's gonna go great for you. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Well, it only help if she's just always wrong. I mean, <laughs> she's a woman, so <laughs> they always are. But you always still apologize. Uh, Twitch has also cut about thirty-five percent of its staff, um, which it was the company I said that's uh, that's never been profitable, and they're saying that they're cutting all of the staff so that they can get there, so that they can achieve profitability, <laughs> and so they're pre- they're preparing all these layoffs. And I'm just, and Twitch is one of those. I mean, so people ask, how can YouTube be unprofitable? And it's like, how can Twitch be unprofitable? It's like, all you do is support streamers and then take your cut of their stuff. And Twitch takes like fifty percent of everyone's stuff. So Twitch takes an even bigger chunk than, than I think YouTube does. But I mean, people ask me why, like, will you stream on Twitch? And the answer is no. I'll, n- I'll never stream on Twitch. I'll stream almost anywhere else. Only if I can be naked while doing it. In a hot tub, yep. gaming. Hot tub stream. If I could hot tub stream stream while gaming, that would be actually pretty awesome. Hot tub stream. Yeah, didn't they have this uh, big debacle or whatever where you can basically just show everything except for nip? (laughs) And so it just went crazy on the platform and they had to shut it down or whatever. That's crazy. That's funny. I I don't know if that's true. So there are just like boob streams out there. I mean, dude, that's awesome. Why not, right? I I guess. Free boob streams on the internet? What? That's what? It's never been done before. <laughs> but I mean, there's reasons I won't that we won't go to Twitch for streaming. It's because they're not friendly to their creators. Um, they're not. I mean, they're not friendly to their creators. We would have to start from scratch with growing the platform. Um, they are super woke, and they're just all about this DEI stuff and diversity. And I'm just not about it at all. Um, so there's there's reasons we won't go to Twitch, mm-hmm. and I figured this was the time to say so. But the it was the time. It's about time we address this. This was the moment. I mean, it's a bit in a big controversy in our comments. Like, yeah, it sure is. Like, why aren't you on Twitch? Yeah. Why won't you make shorts? Like, first off, we're not making shorts because we're not talented. <laughs> so, and I mean, it's so easy to do. We just can't do it. Then you have we're not going to Twitch because fuck Twitch. I mean, they're firing all of these good, hardworking employees who've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Yeah, they're all innocent people who have, who absolutely deserve love and respect. Uh, I'm just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No one deserves love and respect. Well, I think that pretty much wraps up for everything we had to go over today. <laughs> you guys see any, anything else to add? We'll end it with that heartwarming story. <laughs> yes, we did it. I love to end it. In a positive note, there is this thing you could find on our videos called the like button. If you would do us a favor and annihilate that. That would be very appreciated. Subscribe to the channel. If well, you, you only can press it once. Well, you well you can't press it again, but then you got to press it again after that. Make sure to press it an odd number of times. Yeah, you got to press it an odd number of times. the times it would take to annihilate it. <laughs> yeah. We all know that annihilation equals an odd number. <laughs> right. Everyone knows that. Even can't bring up about the apocalypse. <laughs> you can't yeah. have an even apocalypse. Uh, but yeah, please like, uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. And share the video out there uh, if you know anyone who is going to appreciate and like this content. We will wrap it up there. We will see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. It's been fun. Peace. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't that fun. You guys are having fun? <laughs>